In this video, you will see how to mail merge on Gmail. I have some data here for mail merge. You see all this customer data, first name, last name, recipient, service name, amount and due date. So I want to send an email to all the persons individually via my Gmail account. So I need to use mail merge. Otherwise, if I just put all the emails at a time, everyone can see the other person's email. So the best solution here is mail merge. I'll show you how to mail merge on Gmail. You do not need to have any third party add-ons or extension for mail merge in Gmail because Gmail offers an official solution. Here on this page, they offer a sample Google Sheet and you can copy it. I'll put the link of this page in the video description. Let's see how it works. First, I'll make a copy of the google sheet make a copy and here it is it has 10 rows currently i can add some more rows here if i want 10 add so you can add as many as rows you want so this is the default template from gmail and i have the data like this so we have first name last name recipient description discount code discount amount and email sent this will be added later after sending the email we need to update the description column header because the column headers are important service name i'll make it service name and it is case sensitive amount due date i'll make it amount and i'll make it due date now i'll copy this data you can fill your own data manually here and i need to delete this and paste the data i have you can update any of the fields here like if you do not want the first name and last name in separate fields, you can make it in one field. But you cannot change this header here because this is defined by the script behind the scene. So if I click on this extension, app script, you will see this recipient field and the email sent field, the headers for the field. You cannot change them email sent and recipient because it is defined here. If you want to change, then you need to update the app script here so our contacts are ready and now we need to edit the email so i'll go to my inbox here and i already have a default draft for this video i'll paste it here okay so how it works dear first name okay the first name the column name here the header the header names are case sensitive so i have the first name with the small n so it is same as here i have put the service name here it is also case sensitive i'm just making sure that it is same amount amount due date due date okay perfect now if i want to highlight something on the email i need to highlight the field here like if i want to highlight the amount then i can just highlight it here select the amount field and highlight it i'll just highlight the amount and due date the next thing i need to put a subject for the email the subject is reminder upcoming payment due okay now i can close this so when i close this it goes to the drafts folder here i can see the email so for mail merge using this google sheet we need to put the email inside the draft folder let's run the mail merge mail merge send email it says the script needs permission to run okay for the first time when I'm running the script, I need to allow the permission. Click on this, go to Gmail and all and scroll down, allow everything. Now I need to run the mail merge again. So you see this menu here, mail merge. This menu is coming from the app script. Okay, send emails. What happens when you have multiple drafts, right? This is the question. You can have multiple drafts. You need to copy the subject for the email you want to send the mail merge and put it here while you're running the mail merge script. It will send the email for the same subject. If you have multiple emails here, it will not work for the other emails. So for that, I will just create a sample email and try. So we have two drafts here, sample email and reminder upcoming payment due and i'll copy this because i want to send this and i'll put it here this script will find the similar subject and send it as the mail march and click on ok it will take a moment to send the emails you see here running script this means the script is running on this email send column 
you see the date and time for some reason this rows do not have the time okay let's see the send box go here send yes reminder upcoming payment due all the emails you see the time 242 and here on my clock it's 242 so it sent the email just now all those emails are demo email so i'll receive some error here you see address not found this is just to show you how it works so what you need to do you just need to copy this google sheet on your account and start sending the mail march make sure you do not change the header for recipient and email send because these headers are defined inside the app script and you can alter any other column here you want to change remember the columns were different when i copied it but then i copied this data so i updated the column headers thank you for watching if you like the video please subscribe to the channel